Hello everyone, welcome back, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic and today we have another video on Microsoft Flight Simulator. This one will be a little bit different though. It's a car. Yeah, it's a flight sim. It should be an airplane, it should be a something that flies, but it's a car. So I'm gonna show you this car around. Um, I'm gonna show you the way it drives. It's not very realistic, but it's fun. Have you ever wanted to basically drive a little bit around the airport, have a look around, get to you know the, the area, maybe check out a new airport you just downloaded? This looks like a good option. As always, I will have a link in my description down below if you want to download this. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content. And this is the Pajero by Mitsubishi. Doesn't look bad. And yes, we are at Kennedy International. Let's have a look on the inside. This also have a police livery. And to drive this, it's control E to start the engine. Release the parking brake. And the throttle is basically your accelerator and this is what you would use your rudder paddles for like the yaw it works you can definitely drive around you can speed around you can drift a little bit it's not realistic not in the slightest but it can be fun. Let's have a look on the third person. And here we're slowing down, throttle all the way down, just braking hard. Takes a while to actually slow down. Especially if you're speeding. But I think this is the first car for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I chose this airport, the JFK, simply because it's it's huge. Look at the size of this. And if you want to drive around, have a look at the airport. You can open up a chart, um, the airport chart on a second monitor, maybe on your phone, tablet. And then you can drive around, check out everything. The rare wheels do move, the front wheels do not, but they do turn as you turn. And this is what I meant by drifting. It's very easy to lose control, but it can be fun. Let's go back to this lane. There we go. The flightsim.to page mentions the lights. I think it says it's the L, which is which should be the, the standard key for the lights, I think. But it doesn't really work for me, I think. And I tried the I and it doesn't work either, so. I'm not too sure what's going on there. That's a blocky truck. This truck looks way better, and this one does as well. That one looks way too blocky, I think. I did try driving this around the city. I chose London, and it doesn't work too well. As you can imagine, it really, really, really doesn't work too well. And, ooh, I lost control, ooh. Everyone at the, at the airport must be very, very mad at the dude driving around. <laughs> so, um, I chose London and it kind of look 
looks like there are hidden um, invisible walls on the streets they the streets themselves they do not look good from down below from ground level most buildings do not look that great either but this is an option for air parts like this one it's big and it's very well made. There is a really nice airport as well. Um, it's Gatwick. It is on flightsim.to. It's very, very, very well made. If you want to take a look around the whole airport, you can also use this. Very, very well made. And I believe the Gatwick have two versions. I think it's the standard and the ultra version. Yeah, I think I, I think that's it. I haven't checked for updates in so long for Gatwick. I really gotta check it out. Maybe, maybe the developer improved it even further. Yeah, guys, don't mind me. Just taking a doing a tour on the airport. Kind of thought he was gonna walk in front of the in front of my car. Let's go in here, have a look around the, the place, a little bit of inside view again. Here we have the Grumman Goose, awesome, awesome airplane, I really, really like it. Can you imagine if we had a driving sim, but with the Microsoft Flight Simulator technology where you can basically drive anywhere? They would have to fix up a little bit the, the roads, the cities. I don't think it would be easy to basically be um, um, a 100% replica, like every building just like the the real life counterpart. I feel like they're... ooh, invisible wall. I feel like we do... we will need a little bit of a... Um, random gen so basically the satellite picks up it's a building and then the the sim chooses a building to place there a similar building like it's a gray five story building and then it just plops down a five story five story gray building it's a it's a massive skyscraper it just plops down a, a massive sky, skyscraper you know but I feel like that could be nice. I don't see myself driving everywhere, even though I really like ETS2 and ETS. But I do see myself driving at least in a couple of cities. And I remember when I first started playing ETS2, I really wanted a one-to-one -one map. Nowadays, I kind of realize it would be insane actually driving on a one to one map. I would not have covered as much ground as I have on ETS2 had we had a one to one map. And I've played ETS2 a lot. So, yeah, this is the first drivable car. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, I will have a link in my description down below for this. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe. Drive safe. Bye-bye.